Welcome to the Daily Crossing, yes. episode 59. Guys, great to see you. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I know everybody was up late right now, uh, watching and over and over and analyzing the uh, State of the Union. You know, is a is a as a American tradition, as uh, and as as American as apple pie. Mm -hmm. uh, the expectation that once a year, a president comes out and lets you know exactly. Um, How great we're doing. You know, that at least again, the whole idea is to report what is the state of the union. Eventually, uh, it has become more and more a, a political statement, mm -hmm. right? That is very representative of their own uh, political parties, depending on on where they are. You know, uh, agendas are being promoted. You can see which ones are liked by one party, which ones are disliked by one mm -hmm. party. You know yes. what I mean? And you can see that by the clapping and standing and. And the booing now is is all out there. Uh, it also became a tradition to go into a shouting match with the president. I think that started even uh, with uh, President Bush. With that being said, what what was your biggest takeaway? Who who wants to no, you go? go ahead. Okay, so I think everybody keeps on bragging about the fact that, and this happened the same thing. The State of the Union, I think, you know, it's like, hey, great energy from the guy. So he was very well prepped, you know, but he had he had a, a great energy, if you want to call it, or at least energy <laughs> for something that um, for somebody that has always been disoriented and stuff like that. So, 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 so it was good to see that at least. Because uh, it's also, we are being looked at from other different platforms. Mm -hmm. So if this is one of the biggest moments and one of the biggest statements, especially in an election year, everything that is happening, you want the guy to, like, you don't want him to stumble, you know? So it's like, I'm glad that, like, at least we were safe there, yeah. you know? And the second thing is, absolutely, it was more of a political statement, just like it was the last time. And he sold the, the dream a little bit. He casted a vision uh, how accurate the dream and the vision is. We can get into it. For me, if we look at the positive stuff, I think he, he that was uh, well put together. It was very staged, though. I did feel that I think everybody in his side like literally had like a script of what mm -hmm. was going to happen. Mm -hmm. And it's a cue, clap, so that they know <laughs> it, was, it felt a little too right. rehearsed right. type of thing. And then the last thing is, you know, I'm expecting for somebody, anybody that's saying the State of the Union is understanding, like, where are we as a country? Where are we uh, as a, if you're looking at this thing like a business, you know, it was trying to look at this thing like, hey, it, you're not fat, you're just well-rounded type of thing. You know, it, it felt very much so. So it's like, no, honey, like, we're fat and we need to go on a diet type of thing. <laughs> uh, but none of that was really said. So all in all, um, at least he didn't fumble. So I'm, I'm grateful for that. And, you know, he sold the dream, whatever that may be. <laughs> where, where, which one? Do you, what, what well, was we'll, yeah, we'll talk about that as we get okay. into it. Yeah. Uh, so for me, I think it was exactly what you expect it to be. Yeah. So like when you say it's scripted, like I feel like it's going to be. There's no way that it's not going to be scripted. Also, I don't expect any president who is um, still running to say anything that's going to make themselves look bad. You get what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So it's almost like now when you um see um the message it's almost like here's the it's like the instagram version of people's life <laughs> you get what i'm saying it's, it's not their real life it's just what they want you to see right you get what i'm saying in a way that's gonna yeah, make they, their in, life in, in moments like that you don't even yeah. want the real you to show up correct, you, you correct. want the guy that, <laughs> yeah you want the guy who's exactly gonna be performing happened. as a matter of fact correct. i mean if you and that is the point that if you're yeah. contrasting you know, the real uh, Joe Biden that mm -hmm. has been showing up to places, unable to be coherent, mm -hmm. to have the energy, falling all over the place. You don't want that Joe Biden to show. That's what everybody right. was, was saying, right? Yeah. So you're right. Performance yeah. right now and the overall performance. Because uh, you're saying great energy. I keep hearing everybody great energy. I'll be honest with you. What I did is instead of just watching the TV... And, and this is an exercise that anybody can do. Or, or yeah, no, 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 no. Just listen, listen. Okay, just you. listen to it and don't try to look at the person because his expression was always like angry. You know what I mean? Looking yeah, at like, like that's true. Because when you're trying to call you, like if you want to make that point, you look like that is the ultimate definition of the old man who is almost like, you know, screaming at somebody. Get out of my back yeah, yeah, yeah. My front yard. You know, turn the music down. <laughs> that, that, that type of, you know, yeah. I mean, look. But... Listen, 20 minutes into it, he was actually already fading down. Like, he had to, like, mm. I, I don't know if it, did somebody <laughs> went, you know, just to try to pick it up a little bit. But he was already fading. Yeah. If you listen, and then immediately he started to, like, slur phrases or say them a little faster. But you're right. From yeah. that perspective of showing up because 
it was a performance. I mean, Good. it's not something he writes. Exactly, it's, it's exactly. For him. So, so for yeah, me, I mean, it, it it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, regardless of what, even if he had an award winning like Martin Luther King type of even if it was middle that, schooler speech, that doesn't mean. I believe everything is going to be different in the let, world. Because let, let, let me ask you guys: What, what yeah. do you think he was trying to accomplish out of this particular uh, State of the Union, and 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 based on the message that he was trying to deliver and how he was going to deliver? What would you say from your perspective? For me, it's win votes. Just it's because because uh, right. think about it: How much have we seen Biden in a in a positive way in the last year? Do you get what I'm saying? So, at the closer we get to um, to election time, it's like I got to make sure I at least do the bare minimum mm -hmm. for the people who are on my side to say, hey, guys, I'm still here. I'm still alive. <laughs> I can still do this thing <laughs> in a good way. Mm -hmm. You know, I just got approved by my doctor. It's OK. You get what I'm saying? So for me, that's what it is. It's just to give reassurance to the people who already are Biden fans. To, OK, yeah. so that that would be one group. Right. Yeah. I want you to feel better about it. But yeah. I'm the guy. Right? Right. I, I got it. I, I can handle yeah, yeah. this whole thing. Would you say that he was able to successfully win back any of the doubters, or would you say that that was enough to even get some of the independents to go I, back into? I, 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 and I'm not talking yeah. about the never Trump. I get you. Right? I get you. It, it, yeah. it just need a reason. I'm talking about somebody that's saying, you know, what? what I say no, but okay. it doesn't matter because there's enough of. <laughs> The people who are already sold out. But to are the party. you saying it from your own perspective, or are you saying it from from like literally trying to measure how people? Yeah, yeah, not for me. I'm just saying based yeah. off of how I believe people will think. You know, I think it's not gonna change anybody's mind. But guess what? As long as I can have the people whose mind is already on, you're gonna go with whatever mm -hmm. a Democrat mm -hmm. says. Then I'm not gonna change my mind based off of what I've seen. I didn't see anything yeah. negative enough to make me oh. Hell no, mm. I can't do this again. It was like, okay, not too bad. Correct. You know, my grandfather's right. still okay. You know, so that's how I feel. And so that's what you're counting on. You're counting on the people that are not necessarily paying attention, that they're feeling a little bit squeezed, but they don't realize why they're being squeezed. Like, we always talk about the boiling water, right? And, and the frog mm. that doesn't realize that it's being cooked. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so that is literally what's happening. So in a speech, when you're talking about, here's all of the free stuff that we're going to do, mm -hmm. right? Let's address that. You know, beer is now not 12 ounces, it's 11.4 or 11, like the shrinkflation process, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, you're right, beer got a little smaller, mm -hmm. you know, for some of the brands and my chips are a little less. So mm -hmm. very relatable. The same thing when he was talking about in the last speech where your children are no baggage or the seat, something about that, that he was talking about airplane fares. I forgot what it was specifically because I didn't go back and listen to it. I wish I would have had the time, but it was very relatable to that. You know, so he's addressing that stuff and saying, we're going to do something about it. He brought back the credit card fee stuff, right? It's like, how has it been a year? And you're still talking about the credit card fee stuff. Mm -hmm. Yet, if you're late on your credit card, it's 30 something bucks. Okay. You know, so it's like, why do you keep on saying it if you're not going to do it? Right. So there was a lot of free stuff there.